Harrison Ford's son in Mosquito Coast and the young Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones in The Last Crusade. It is, of course, River Phoenix. Well, that's a guy you've got, isn't it? You're giving it away, Terry. Well, I'm anyway, salty. What... <laughs> well, I wanted to tell you it was a surprise. Anyway, what can I tell you about this guy? Because some will call him an idealist and actually he's reared his two dogs as vegans. It is a River Phoenix, which you revealed earlier. How you doing, River? Hello, Amanda. How are you? I'm good. Now, you're better known for your movies. You know, how, has that helped or hindered you with this band? I don't think it really makes a difference. I mean, once, once people uh, uh, see the band and, and hear the music for what it is, uh, all preconceptions vanish. So uh, we really haven't run into much trouble in that department. I mean, I know that in, in every one of your songs you've tried to get a message across. Um, do you want to tell me a bit about that? We, we really don't try to get a message across. Uh, it's more of just uh, speaking our minds. And if anyone's out there that are, that are listening and can learn from it, then, then fine. But it's not the gospel according to any one of us, really. Well, don't you have, like, you know, strong environmental issues that well, you yes. believe in? We, we, d we do have strong beliefs, and we do press these issues, but all in character, you know, through the music. It's not like, uh, you know, a first person coming out and saying, hey, listen here, do this, do that. You know, it's just more of like, you know, we, we integrate our beliefs through, it, through the music. Now, I mean, you're, you're like gigging around America at the moment in your, in your truck. Isn't, isn't rock, you know, a music, touring especially, supposed to be like sex, drugs, and rock and roll? Well, not with us, it's not. I mean, the rock and roll part fits. Yeah, but sex is, you know, ecological, isn't it? Uh, it's ecological, yes. Uh, the, the condoms aren't, though, so we have to kind of... Uh, um, kind of... Alternative methods. Yes. <laughs> Now, over here is Josh, who's in Alakazatic as well. Now, how, what's the kind of response you've had? I mean, there's lots of noise going on here, so that's obviously a good one. What kind of response have you had to this band already, then? Well, depending on the size of the room, uh, how close everybody is, I'd say there's usually a surprise and a shock and then a sort of gyration and then a kind of meltdown, you know. Do you think that it's helped having River fronting it? Uh, it, it's added its unique part to getting people out to see us. At this point, we don't have, you know, a record out. Our debut just happened with this new PETA album. And uh, so people have been showing up, knowing, recognizing his name, and it's been good. Now, River, River, do you want to keep this band kind of low-key, or would you be happy for it to be more successful? What do you, what do you want? Well, it's, it's as successful as it can be at this point. I mean, right now we're just playing live, and we're really enjoying it. And if anyone likes it, then they, then they, uh, then they follow us around. And, so, but what are you going to do? I mean, if it becomes very successful and you've got to go off and do a film, then what's going to happen to well, We're primed and ripe and ready. We're going to go into the studio then and give you guys an album. Well, we're going to have a listen now, because these guys are playing later on here at Michelangelo's Club in Chattanooga. So you want to give us a little preview? We can. Great. All right. Let's hit it, guys. <laughs>
That's a sudden note of fidelity there, I thought. Did you? Voila. Well, 